Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit a low light portrait to give it a moody feel. So this is the raw image that we'll be editing today. It was shot on the Canon 85mm 1.2 lens and I've just got the camera settings up here so you guys can take a look at how I shot this photo. So funny story about this image, this shot was a test shot before we started actually shooting but I ended up loving it so much that I did edit the photo and post it online. So this image is a little bit darker than what I would have liked it to be, but sometimes when you get a really great image, sometimes you just need to make it work in Lightroom in order to be able to use it. So let's jump straight into the editing. The first thing that I like to do before I start editing a photo is to just sharpen the image so it's just out of the way and the picture looks nice and crisp while we're adjusting the colors and the tone. So after the sharpening, the next thing I want to focus on is the tone of the image. So for this photo in particular, I want to use the tone curve. I'm going to start by dragging the blacks, the black point up across the edge of the box just to mattify the blacks in the image and make them appear a little bit more gray. Then I'm going to make a point around the shadows area of the image and just bring that down to add a little bit more contrast into the photo. Next I'm going to make a point around the middle of the box which will affect kind of the whites and the shadows of the image and I'm going to pull that up to add a little bit more light and some more contrast into the image as well. The next thing I want to do is grab the highlights point which is the one in the top right hand corner and again just drag it down the side of the box to mattify the whites that are here in the candle. Once we have our main points down I like to play around with each of the points just very slightly, just to see how it affects the image and to get the perfect tones that I'm after for the photo. So let's look at a before and after of our tone curve so far. I really like how it's kind of flattened out the image, but it still retains a little bit of contrast, which makes it pop. So now I wanna focus on the colors of the image. The ambient light from the candles is a little bit too vibrant for my liking, so I'm going to bring the saturation of the image down and saturation basically affects how bright or how dull the warmer colors of an image are. So I still want to have a little bit of that orange light on her face because I feel like that really ties in the feeling and the story behind the photo. So I don't want to get rid of it completely. So we're just going to bring the saturation to about minus 15, uh, 16 <laughs> is good. And I'm also going to bring the vibrance up a little bit as well. And the vibrance, on the other hand, affects the cooler colors of an image. So I usually like to have my saturation down and my vibrance a little bit up. So I'm pretty happy with the way that this image is looking so far. I want to pull up the shadow slider just a little bit to bring some more detail back into the darker areas of the image. And I'm also going to pull the black slider down just a tiny bit to bring in a little bit of deeper blacks in some areas as well. So I'll show you a before and after of what it's looking like so far. The next thing that's really grabbing my attention, probably not in the right way, is this whole green area up here. So we're going to be using our HSL tool and I'm going to start with saturation. I'm going to bring the saturation of the yellows and the greens down just so that green forest part in the top of the image isn't so prominent. Then in luminance, I'm also going to bring that down to darken the colors up there and make the image appear just darker overall as if it was more of a nighttime scene. And then with hue, I also want to make this green a little bit more of like a forest kind of lush green. At the moment, it's a little bit muddy and almost yellow looking. So I'm going to do that by pulling the yellow hue up and that's kind of adding a nicer kind of green to it. And I'm going to do the same with the green slider as well. Cool. So I think just about there looks pretty good. And there's a before and after of what we've done with the greens. And I feel like this just brought a lot more attention back to our subject. So the next thing I'm seeing that I really want to adjust is the ambient color of the candles on our model's face. So by using hue, I want it to be less of a red color and more of like a golden tone. So I'm going to use our orange slider and bring that up to make the reds a little bit more yellowish. 
and I feel like that kind of softens up the image a little bit and complements the green background in the photo. I'm also going to try bringing up the luminance of the orange just to bring a little bit more light and life into our model's face. So I think just about there is perfect. Now that the tone is looking good and the overall colors are looking really good as well, I wanna play around with adding a little bit more style into the photo. So we're gonna start doing that by using our split toning tool. And I wanna work on the shadows of the image and give them a little bit of color. So I'm gonna bring up the saturation of the shadows first and then move the hue around until I'm happy with the color that is being applied to the image. So I think something like a either a blue or a green would look really cool for the shadow color. I actually really like what this blue looks like. Once I'm happy with my hue, I then bring down the saturation until it blends in with the image. Um, I'm also going to try and see what the green looks like in our shadows as well. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, you would know that I really love green in my photos. So I think I'm actually going to go with the green. I like it a little bit better than the blue. And then we're also gonna do the same thing with the highlights. I'm thinking just to accentuate the golden color from the candles on our model's face. I'm going to bring the hue up to a yellow orangey kind of tone and then bring the saturation down to blend that in. So I think just about there is really good. Let's look at a before and after of just the split toning. As you can see, it's really, really subtle, but sometimes adding very subtle colors makes the biggest difference in your photos. You don't always have to go really extreme with editing, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. So now that we have all our final colors in place, I wanna have one more play around with the tone curve. And then again, just adjust the points little by little to see if it makes any difference. I kind of like to go back to certain things once I've finished the colors, I like to play with the tone because each of these things affect what the other one looks like. So I think just making it that little bit darker has made the portrait a lot more moody, which I really love. So we'll just look at a final before and after of our image. So this is the before image and this is the after. By looking at the before and after, I feel like I could bring the saturation back up just a tiny bit. I kind of like that it's quite bright on our model's face. And there we have the final image. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever played around with low light portrait photography. I think it's a really fun thing to do and you can get really creative in both the way that you take photos and the way that you edit them. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching you guys and I'll see you all next time. Bye.